Hello and welcome to Real Fishing 3, the walkthrough. Today we are heading out of the area around the Aqua Lodge. We're going all the, all the way to North America for the Salmon River or the Main River. Here's a little bit of information about this Salmon River. We are heading there targeting, according to the manual, Catch a Salmon is our target. We've got King Salmon, Pink Salmon, and Steelhead to catch. And there are two kinds of Pink Salmon. There's the Juvenile and the Mature form. Um... I believe the requirement here, because as you saw there, all of the other spots were grayed out, or you may have seen it as I just I selected it. So the fishing friend buys you a ticket to fly to North America. Presumably we're somewhere in uh, in Alaska or British Columbia, I guess, um, here to fish for salmon as they come in. So the friend buys you a ticket. So just for this one level, you are locked from going anywhere else. You have to go here. So I believe to unlock the next sequence you just have to catch a salmon um because that's what it, the manual says and the game kind of hints at that i wanted to try to catch one of each so that's what we're going to see here today as i go looking around through the equipment uh, again the fly fishing mechanics something that real fishing has a little bit of a um a weak spot in real fishing it's just it's kind of tedious to do the fly casting and i've yet to really see a spot where it wasn't just as easy to use a uh, a spinning lure so here is a juvenile pink salmon, and this river right here is absolutely choked with this kind of fish, the uh, juvenile pink salmon. You're going to see a lot of these. Now, if you look in the water here, even on a sunny-ish day, we can't see very well. Here, this fish, I think, got stuck in these rocks, so I actually had to let off on the reel to let the fish turn and move to get off those rocks. Uh, but So it's harder to see fish, especially if they're a little bit farther away from you, and the bites happen very quickly. Sometimes the bite happens uh, just by the time the camera view changes, the bite is already happening. These fish are all fast biters, and that was hinted at in the, uh, the game fact that I was looking at, that these fish are fast biters. You've got to be just kind of ready to hit that X button. Um, you won't often and get a uh, underwater view as you see the fish come up to strike the lure. The fish seems to strike it as the camera is changing. So the juvenile pink salmon um, is the, you know, the, the not mature version of this fish. I did not see any mature pink salmon as I played through this level. Um, we did unlock the next sequence, of course, but I didn't see any of the mature version. You do kind of unlock the fish by catching the juvenile here. So I went to the fishing log and looked at what the sprite for the mature version looks like. And it has the look that uh, in real life, a lot of mature spawning salmon get where the lower jaw uh, juts out over the um, the upper jaw a little bit. So the, uh, the, the body really changes shape quite a lot as they um, come back into freshwater to spawn. I didn't see any fish that resembled that on this particular trip to the Salmon River. Maybe those fish will be present at some later visit. So we get the jingle here for um, catching the new species. I believe you also get a different jingle if you catch a new personal best in that species, um, a, a best size in that species. So I'm not actually sure what the different kinds of uh, jingles mean, except I do know what the level unlock uh, jingle is. I didn't hear that in this one, but I'm guessing that if I went back to the Aqua Lodge right now, that I would be uh, able to go to the first of the challenges. We're not unlocking a new level, we're actually unlocking new challenges. So you can see this fish here has a different look. This is immediately apparent that this is the steelhead because it has the pink stripe down the side, and steelhead is the ocean-going a variant of the uh, rainbow trout. So rainbow trout and steelhead, uh, one of the differences, or the only difference is that uh, steelhead are allowed to travel out to sea and come back into spawn, whereas a lot of rainbows that you will see stocked in a lot of waters um, are not allowed, of course, to go access the ocean and come back and spawn. So this is the ocean-going version of the rainbow trout. Becomes a steelhead here. So this is another species. The other species here is the king salmon. So while I'm underwater here, uh, I was scanning the, the waters to see if I could find any other sprites. And maybe I could find the non-juvenile pink salmon, the mature pink salmon. Although at the time I recorded this, I didn't know what they looked like because I hadn't gone back to the Aqua Lodge. Um, I'm looking for the larger pink salmon, and I'm looking to see what the king salmon might look like. I'm not sure um, how different that sprite will be. This one definitely is distinctive because of its uh, dark blue color and the pink stripe down the side. So on all of these battles and some that I've, of course, cut out of the final version here, I was glancing around trying to see because you get a better look underwater here than you do from the surface, especially as the light changes. And we'll see, I did spend one whole fishing day here at the Salmon River. 
So you, you will see us go to uh, midday and evening as we catch a few more of these beautiful salmon. So this is the first example of this game really uh, growing in scope, <laughs> where we go outside of the area right around our uh, aqua lodge. There's another juvenile pink salmon right there. So on, uh, like the other games where we're traveling to a different place in the world, uh, there's another juvenile pink salmon. As you can see, this river is just really full of them. So we're leaving that area. You won't see it on this video. I cut it out. But if you look at the map screen here, um, the map screen doesn't have a different map for this area. Uh, it really only has just a, uh, a, a choice to go back to the Aqua Lodge. So it just has the Aqua Lodge circled. There's not a new map for this area of North America that we're in, which is that's all the uh, friend tells you is that I booked you a ticket to North America. So new species, steelhead trout. Very nice, beautiful fish, uh, both in the game and in real life. The sprites are quite nice, the, or the fish designs are, are quite nice. So here's another uh, cast here. Let's see what we can do with our spinner. I see a larger fish is chasing it, and right there I can see it looks like that pink salmon, but it has a, uh, the, the dorsal fin is set a little bit farther back than on the pink salmon, it looks like, and uh, you know it moves a little bit differently. So we can see that this is a different species. As I was recording this, you hear the lines really singing on this fish because it's, uh, it's quite, quite a big one. And even with the the stepped up line strength, I'm having difficulty getting this fish turned. But we do get there. We do get there. Watching for those bubbles, and, uh, and then get aggressive when you see the bubbles, and you'll be okay. So as I recorded it, I thought that this may have been the mature pink salmon because the color certainly matches. It's this fish has a uh, the same color scheme as the the other juvenile pink salmon, but I can tell that the body shape is a little bit different. So I thought at the moment that this was the uh, the adult pink salmon. So here this fish again got stuck on the rock and I just I turned my rod to the left side just kind of pull it off the rocks and that seemed to dislodge it. So this is the first level uh, in a while that I've really seen fish getting caught on obstacles. The first uh, level in the pier I do remember there were some uh, of the largemouth bass that you catch there can get kind of stuck on the pilings of the pier if you're casting in that direction. So quite a fight here and you can even hear the different the lower pitch of the swim sound effect that this fish makes uh, indicates that it's a, a larger size tier so you can hear that immediately and of course uh, you can see the different um, body type and you can see it's quite a bit chunkier than the juvenile pink salmon that's down there but you know you're getting close when you see the ripples of your line hitting the water and here we go so it is a king salmon, the lunker size king salmon. It is not the adult pink salmon. It is a full-on uh, king salmon. So let's jump to a little bit later in the day. I'm still looking for that adult or mature pink salmon as I recorded this. Uh, I knew I had already caught one of all three species, and I was just trying to look to see if I could see any bigger sprites or any different kinds of sprites in there, both as I was casting and as I was uh, reeling fish in. Now, I did as a way to kind of cheat <laughs> a little bit. I would sometimes cast towards sprites of fish. Um, and then when, if the fish gave me an opportunity, if the camera changed to the underwater view and I could see the fish, if I could tell it was a juvenile pink salmon uh, or the steelhead, I would actually hit that circle button. And the circle button is kind of a way to give up, give up on your cast. It just, it kind of just pulls it, pulls your bait in immediately. Um, and so that's a way to avoid having an extended drawn out battle with a fish that's not going to uh, get you where you need to go. And also it takes up a lot of time. Those, uh, those fish battles take up a lot of your, your time and I believe game time as well. So if you're after one particular species or one particular size of fish, that's going to be helpful. And as we go to the uh, the challenges, uh, we'll be talking about that some more as we're looking for the uh, deep body crucian carp uh, of 18 inches. That's a trick that I use a lot there when I saw a smaller fish approaching the bait um, or a non a, a species that I wasn't after. Hit that circle button, pull your line in, and cast it back out. But I was also using the underwater view to kind of scan for the... Uh, the, the other species to kind of scan for a different looking fish that could be my um, my mature pink salmon. And I never did see one. I was, I'm not sure if I was supposed to see one here. I was a little bit uh, wary of trying to refresh the, the map as I had done with the going after the black Chinese roach where I was moving to refresh the map. It's, it is another king salmon. 
So that is everything. I didn't get any other new developments there, but uh, as we'll see, Junior does bring over the letter that tells us we have unlocked um, the Salmon River. Uh, we're going to the challenge of the Deep Body Crucian Carp. So this is the first letter, and in your letter box, these are uh, filed under challenges. So this letter here, you can go back and read. You can read all the letters you get, even with the ones that have kind of silly... Um, interestingly localized uh, facts or tips or, or philosophical questions. So it tells you 18 inches is the size of deep body Crucian carp is what we're looking for. The next part of the letter here is kind of your Pokedex info for the fish that you caught. So the pink salmon, the king salmon, and the steelhead. That's what uh, puts them in your fishing log. And then you can go look up information about them. That's how I could see later that the mature pink salmon is not the ones that I was seeing. I just didn't see one. So that is it for the Salmon River. Now, going forward from here, we have a few series of challenges where we're just trying to catch a fish of a certain size that we've already caught and levels we've already covered before. So depending on how much content I get as I record those, those might be in um, fewer videos. I might have uh, several challenges in one video to make it a little bit more exciting for the viewer and a little more informative for someone who wants to figure out how to complete those challenges. I always want these walkthroughs to be educational and having uh, players who who want to either experience the game uh, through me can watch these and, and enjoy it, but a player who wants to see how something's done on their own game, they can get something out of this as well. So like I said, that's going to draw to a close for today. Let me know if you like this video. You can hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, leave a comment with a question, or you can hit me up on Twitter where I'm also active underscore A-T-E. We will see you next time.